Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is about an ideal Mini S24. So we've been called out since boiler. Um, the customer said that there's no heat in the hot water. So what's been happening? Um, this green light, what should normally illuminate, and it's not been illuminating. So we're going to check and investigate why that is and you'll see how the story unfolds. Today I've got with me Adam, he's doing his board pair mentorship program with me, Coach Tony Morgan. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this front panel off here. So on this spiral, we've got, there's two screws at the top, top corner, one there, and one there, and then this front panel just lifts off. So we'll do that. So I'll take out the two screws at the top and set that panel. Front one lifts off. Okay, just lift that off. Good. So we got the front panel off. So what we initially did, um, we checked to see if we're getting power to the boiler. Now this is the lead coming in. And using my voltage stick to see if we've got power, which I picked something up and it was all the 64 volts. So what I did then, I went over here, that's where the, the cable comes from, looked in that box there, and checked for power. We also checked at the spur switch, which is next to it. There's power coming in there, in and out, into the box. So then I thought there's only 64 volts, so I looked around for the external control, that's the timer and room thermostat. So that is now on we turned it on and then we got 240 volts coming at this cable here yep. coming into the boiler so that's where we're up to the next thing we're going to do is look inside here in the pcb area so we're going to pull this front panel out towards us and that comes out pull it out towards you and then what we're going to do, we're going to look inside here in the PCB because we're going to check the fuses because there's power coming in but this light, as I said, is still off. So we're just getting inside this panel here and then we'll see inside. So this part here, section, this is the part we checked the live and neutral. So we're getting 240 volts there but no green light and this is the LED what should light up so in further investigation I located the fuse which is just down near here, here anyway this is the fuse that we're taking out this is it here and you can see it's blown so that's gone so that's where we're up to that's blown so we're going to investigate from there what's caused that the causes of this, what could cause that fuse to blow, is either the pump or the fan unit. They're the main areas. So we're going to check the pump first, and we're going to check the resistance on the pump. Okay, so we turn it on to resistance, yeah. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to get these two, and I want you to go across the two outside pins of the pump. So we've got nothing short circuit. Try the, the, the outer one and the middle one. Again, nothing. So it's looking like short circuit on the pump so we'll, I think that's going to be our problem so that's the end of this video now you can see more about this pump what I've just done and you can see more videos as well by subscribing to our website so if you click on the link below that will take you to our website you can subscribe and you can see more detailed videos more information to help you learn. 
So that's it from me, and I'll see you on the next video.